Hey guys, it's me Diana and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a Outer Banks Season 3 review. Now, I have done an Outer Banks Se Season 2 review and you guys seem to love that. So, a new season came out recently, but I'm super I was super excited for the season. I was anticipating it just like literally everybody else uh in my generation or just ever um because it's one of like netflix's top shows or maybe i'm just saying that because i like it so much but i'm super excited to do this review because i love this season and yeah in this video i'll just basically giving i'll just basically be giving you guys my opinions on the show what i thought about it what i liked what i didn't like and yeah so without further ado let's get started okay guys so actually fun fact jonathan davis did comment on one of my Instagram posts when I did the season two Outer Banks review. If you guys don't know who that is, he plays the actor Pope. And he commented on my 14th birthday post because I did a review on my YouTube and I guess he saw it. And I'll put the comment on the screen so you guys know I'm not lying. And I'll also unarchive the post because I was 14 when I took it and I'm about to be 16 and I just didn't look good in it. So I archived it. Basically just for fun, I'll put it back up on my Instagram so you guys can go see, which is at Deanna Francine. My TikTok's also Deanna777 and i'll put all my other socials on the screen but like let's actually get into the video so first i'm going to be going through ship or dip so, so the first couple which probably was my favorite couple this season is pope and cleo i love them both individually and i love them together their chemistry was off the charts i love how they had like a little friendship before they jumped into a relationship and i just like their slow burn they didn't have their first kiss until either the last episode or the ninth episode i don't remember but um it was like a very slow burn but i liked it because they gave us content with cleo and pope like they really gave us cleo and pope content like she was always there for him and i just really love that first of all the actress that plays cleo and pope she is so beautiful like she is so beautiful i loved her accent in the show and yeah i just love them together i loved how she was always giving him advice and I just felt like they go very well together. It didn't seem rushed to me. It didn't seem forced to me. I feel like we all knew it was going to happen. And I liked that couple. Um, another couple that I liked, which I'm sure we were all waiting for. I know I was waiting for it, is JJ and Key. I am so happy they got together this uh, season. I'm so happy. I've been waiting for this since season one. The chemistry between them since season one has always been off the charts. And I don't even know why they put her with Pope at all. I might be contradicting myself because I don't even remember what I said in my season two review. Um, I probably said I like them. Who knows? But like now watching it back and re-watching season one and season two before I watched season three, I really realized that like JJ and Key are just in game. I feel like they just get each other she's always there for him she's like the good part of his life because his life is probably the worst out of all of the pogues i just feel like it was so good for him to have something good in his life and i just love them together and we've all been waiting for it since season one and they also had a slow burn because he was rejecting her i was like dang like and she kept on trying i was like i wish i had that confidence but unfortunately i don't if i get rejected once i'm probably never gonna talk to you again um a couple that i also shipped before you guys hate and attack me is sarah and topper now 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 do not attack me for this i'm saying i thought they were cute up until he burnt down john b's house but which was way too far like bruh take the take the loss like that's just psychotic things like if i got rejected or a guy told me he liked me and then I go to his house and I see him with another girl. I'm gonna be mad. I might even throw a pebble at his window, but burn down his house is a little bit extreme. Not even a little bit extreme. That's a lot of extreme. Like I don't have anywhere to stay. Like you're weird for that. But up until then, I felt like Topper really changed. Like up until then, I'm just saying. Up until then, I thought Topper really changed. I really liked them together. And he was really there helping them like when he helped them get the cross on the thing he used his uh grandfather's um uh, car truck whatever and he did all of that like his um grandfather is a judge i think he said and he did all that to help them so honestly i think we should give him some more credit because he without him well i mean the cross was fake but it was a thought that counts he helped and without that they wouldn't know that it was a fake one they wouldn't have found out that rafe essentially was the guy who had the cross and yeah 
um personally i like them together up until that point and honestly i can't really be mad at him because like sarah lied to him again and again and again and again just to go to john b and it was crazy and he got beat up by john b like he literally got his face knocked and he had stitches all over so his john b's house burning now is karma his karma because like sarah's the one who cheated not proper like that's your girl so not quite sure why you're mad um next we have sarah and john b um they were kind of just in the background to me this season like their love story didn't just it just like wasn't my favorite like i didn't dislike it but like it just wasn't my favorite it just wasn't captivating and it was just like okay like they're cool it's great they're married oh okay like it's nothing gay to me so i was just like okay <laughs> like okay so that is it for my ship or dip category um i'm pretty sure there's no more couples in the show if i did they're irrelevant because i forgot them but now we're moving on to my least favorite characters and number number one my least favorite character of the whole entire show has to be big john he is the worst father anybody could ever have like he literally listen to me if i was john b's dad and i and my dad my son thought i was dead this whole entire time and if and i if i was john b for one and i find out my dad faked his death or did he fake his death well he just went missing technically but he was presumed as dead and he didn't contact me a single time when he had the opportunity to and then he's back and, and then he comes back and stuff and then he's still putting me in danger to find this treasure give up how old are you how old are you to still be trying to uh fight for treasure find treasure put your son in danger put your son's friends in danger just to find treasure put your son's relationship in jeopardy the reason that sarah cheated is because john b's dad told him to not tell the truth and that caused her to have a wandering eye like you're ruining your kids life you're putting your kids in danger you're putting other kids in danger for treasure like yes it's treasure yes it's cool but at some point you have to grow up and be like i have a family let me focus on that family instead of getting killed for a treasure like i'm like bruh your son thought you were dead and you're still fighting after this treasure and i just feel like he used and manipulated john b and his friends throughout the whole entire season just to get what he want and he got what he want like he literally used them the whole entire season like i was just like bruh when is this dude gonna grow up like you're a grown man and he's like put, essentially he put treasure over his own son's life and i'm like i don't really know my parents could never do that and any sane parents could never do that so like i was like mm, it's not really given like he's not really given as a character i don't like him i i didn't like him because i just don't i just don't um next we have rafe don't like rafe never likes rafe everybody who ships jj i mean everybody who ships kiara and rafe is weird because he tried to kill if i'm not mistaken he tried to kill sarah he literally tried to shoot his own dad this season and he killed sheriff peterkin and i'm pretty sure he tried to kill john b and i'm pretty sure he beat up a uh, pope in like season one or two do you think kiara would even look at him like that no Mm -mm. like no like rafe is literally evil he's literally um he's crazy like he's literally crazy like something is literally wrong with him he needs to seek help like he's crazy and y'all really think kiara would like him stop like i didn't even put them in the shipper dip because i just thought that was obvious like just because two actors are attractive doesn't mean we have to ship him bro's literally a killer he's literally a murderer and y'all are shipping him with somebody like who's insane like who's actually sane no let's not do that so he's actually at the bottom of my list he ruined the pogues plans like time and time and time again and i just got really tired and really boring he tried to shoot his own dad and i don't like war but like dang like me personally next we actually do have ward um i don't like him either but like honestly he wasn't even that bad to me this season he sacrificed his life for pogues who never liked him like ever and his daughter too so i guess yeah but um honestly like he didn't really stick out to me he was trying to repair a relationship with his daughter i wouldn't like john b if i was him anyway like if you were a dad would you really and you if you were a dad and you grew up rich and your daughter's dating john b who's like doesn't go to school like who would just kind of bring your daughter down you probably wouldn't like him either um but actually no because in season one i'm pretty sure john b worked for him but i think that was only because 
he felt bad because he thought he had killed his dad at the time but yeah i don't really like ward either but he was like the best of the worst characters this season and other than that i can't really think of anybody that like stuck out like a sore thumb that i like didn't really like so um next we have my favorite characters um ones that really didn't stand out to me honestly were john b sarah barry and rose she was barely in it wheezy wasn't even in it she had like one scene um who else Sh uh shoop i don't really like him but i he just wasn't relevant enough to put in my dislikes characters and um i think the guy named the guy's name was mike or whatever and yeah so my favorite character at the top would have to be cleo because she was just there for all of them like she did not have to go through all of that like this girl's literally putting her whole life on the line for strangers essentially literally lived on a whole island deserted island like with no real food literally guys they was on that island for six weeks i think they did not brush their teeth they did not shower like and then she doing all this with like basically essentially strangers so i was like that's my girl for real i loved her um she was one of my favorites by far um next i liked jj jj has kind of always been one of my favorite characters actually i don't know if i said this in season two so i probably sound like a hypocrite but like now in my present tense jj is one of my favorite characters because honestly without jj they wouldn't have been able to figure out anything and we are not going to forget how he literally found out where kiara was he was smart he got kiara out of a wilderness camp which i probably should have put kiara's parents on my dislike people because i did not like them like literally sending your daughter to a wilderness camp when you literally just previously stated that you missed her and didn't want to lose her is kind of cuckoo nuts and it's giving hypocrisy it's giving i don't even know what i want to do it's giving nothing basically it's essentially giving nothing um but anyways jj was literally my favorite character he always problem solves things his plans be sounding stupid but his stupid plans be getting them through so honestly like continue doing you jj and i feel like he is one of the people that deserve the gold the most besides pope because it's literally his family's heritage but like jj was really everybody needs a friend like jj i'll pray to have a friend like jj one day like a friend that literally and i feel like if it came down to it jj would sacrifice itself for everybody because like he essentially has nothing no dad no mom he just has his friends and yeah um i really liked him this season um his determination to get kiara loved it loved it need a man to love me like that or else you're blocked you're out deleted and I loved Kiara too. Um, if I was her and I had parents like that, essentially I would just run away and like literally never come back because my parents sent me to a wilderness camp after literally like two days a week before saying that they miss me and don't want to lose me. Get out. Like, and your daughter just came back from being missing for six weeks and the first thing you think to do is send her to a wilderness camp. You're kind of crazy. Um... I'm not quite sure what parent does that after missing their child but okay and then they want to clap in the stands when they essentially find the gold i'm saying essentially a lot and i'm gonna continue to do so but whenever they found the gold and they was clapping i was like but wasn't y'all literally hating on jj hating on kiar for going with jj and then your daughter now has more money than you ever will have <laughs> because she found it mm, okay weird um but anyways yeah i think i was talking about jj or kiara kiara loved pope loved Honestly, Pope should be the main character if you really think about it because uh, the gold is basically his. Um, without Dan Martini, who is literally his ancestor, there would be no gold. So why isn't Pope the main character? I feel like his storyline is just more, much more interesting than the others. JJ's line storyline is also interesting, but like John B, oh, my dad's missing, now he's back. Oh my gosh. And John B's dad had way too much green time this season. Like, shut up. I literally, I literally was about to, every time, I'm not even hating on anything besides the actual like character. Every single time Big John came on, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, like shut up. Like all he cares about is his gold and he's literally grown. Like bro, you're literally 55 going on 56 treasure hunting. Okay, Dora. So embarrassing, it's so weird, it's so annoying. And I just didn't like him. And I forgot who I was talking about. Oh, Pope. Pope should have been the main character. It just would have made more sense if the storyline followed him because and he literally gave up his whole like future to help his friends find this treasure 
like give me a friend like that for real like he's a ride or die honestly like topper this season up until the burning of the house guys up until um he didn't press charges on john b i would have pressed charges on john b one because you basically like my girl and like topper's been trying to get sarah sarah over and over again the way my petty set up i'm pressing charges babe and after all that that sarah put him through playing him like a fiddle but are we also forgetting that topper said he had a girlfriend maybe he was lying to make sarah jealous but and we because we never saw her but he said he had a girlfriend and he said he loved sarah and he kissed sarah so okay cheater um but yeah those are basically it for my favorite characters um all those characters just have a special place in my heart and i love them now enough about the characters and the situationships relationships all that on to the storyline i love the storyline this season honestly um i just felt like john b's dad was and then like he got so much screen time and it was just so much screen time with just john b and his dad and it was just kind of annoying because i just like in season one and two how it's basically literally pokes for life like it was just them for always rolling together we had no pope and just jj scenes like none like season one and season two those were the best buds obviously we barely had any jj and john b scenes when we had it it was like towards the end whenever they was trying to go see if kiara and sarah would help them and then um we didn't really have well we did have some kiara and sarah scenes um but i just feel like john b's dad took up a lot of screen time like when i tell you every single time i just that's word. like at first and then the bells y'all the bells oh my goodness i think it was like the first three or four episodes the bells like john b's dad kept ringing the bell and like it's so annoying it's just so annoying every time it was just so annoying and it made me so mad every single time it's just so annoying stop shut up my dog has joined us also um like the way that the pokes be splitting up y'all it just be stressing me out like when john b did go sing ring the bell or whatever and then they had to go because like sing's men was about to get them and i'm just like why did he leave anyway like oh my goodness like yes you found your dad thank you lord that is great but k like you just raised my blood pressure for no reason when kiara got sent to the wilderness camp and then jj had to go out on a whole limb to find her stressing me out like which i did like that part but the bells like that's what it gave i was just like uh okay like cookie <laughs> um sing i forgot all about him for my least favorite characters he wasn't even really my least favorite character though because like mm, i would want money too i would want gold too so i'm not even gonna hate i'm gonna appreciate like it's nothing really to dislike about him he's just a regular villain of the story okay like rank is worse but honestly the storyline this season was really good i just felt like john b like big john b got way too much screen time and we focused way too much on sarah and john b well actually we really didn't because it seemed like topper and sarah got more screen time but honestly i don't know um i like the slow burns with jj and kiara and pope and cleo it's very cute i like that they did address that kiara was a, a, had a thing with pope for like a day I like how they mentioned that before JJ was about to like actually go for Kiara because like then it would have been kind of weird if he didn't address that. And honestly, they better begin in game or else I'm gonna be very much so mad. Um, I don't know why it's called Outer Banks because they were literally never in the Outer Banks. Like <laughs> they were in the Outer Banks for a totality of like 40 minutes of the whole show um they was in pogolandia they was in venezuela they was in the caribbean they was everywhere but the outer banks so let's change the outer banks to south america banks because they wasn't in the outer banks so <laughs> like they really wasn't so okay and also where did my girl wheezy go like she went to being the annoying little sister that everybody loved to well actually i don't know if everybody loved her but to literally having one scene rose too like where did she go <laughs> like hi guys where you guys at <laughs> where you guys at i was really trying to find you but they weren't really in it and other than that 
I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't really want Ward to die. I actually really didn't want him to die. I wanted him and Sarah to repair their relationship. Um, and I also really wanted Rafe to go to jail for what he did. He literally killed someone and bro's just walking free still. And he's going to continue walking free because the person that took the fall for him is dead and can't vouch for theirself. And not like Ward was probably going to do it anyway, but like Rafe really needs to be jailed. Like I hope in season four, y'all like actually make Rafe be accountable for his actions. Like this dude is terrible. He burnt Pope's cross. Why? Why did he do that? Let's actually talk about it. Why did, why did Rafe even burn the cross if he knew that someone else wanted it? Like why did he just give it to Pope and them? They wouldn't have gave that away for nothing. They wouldn't have gave that away for anything. Like they would have kept that. They would have treasured that. Like that just shows you that Rafe is just petty because why didn't you even do that? Like what was the purpose? If you didn't want it and was just gonna burn it, why didn't you just give it to me? Take what you needed out of it and then give it to me. Like that's just so weird and petty and wrong. Like you're weird. Why is it focused on my dog and not me? I'm the star of the show. Um, Like Rafe was just very petty to me and Pope needs to give him that work in season four because we really ain't forget when pope got beat up in season one i think that was kind of embarrassing my dog is not the star of the show it's me um but other than that yeah the storyline was good i give it like an eight out of ten this season it's just entirely too much big john scenes entirely too much so overall i give season three an eight out of ten um it was a very solid season um i finished it in like three days um I think I like season two the best, season one and then season three, but season, but I just like season two because it was just very adventurous and this one was too, but it was just very like, it just gave too much Big John. That's literally like my only critique. Too much Big John, not enough rave scrutiny. And other than that, I loved it. So eight out of 10, I loved all the actors. They all did their thing. Honestly, I hate Rafe, but the actor who played Rafe, he he acted he acted because <laughs> he acted because i was really thinking that dude was crazy like i really was everybody acted this season um as per usual the scenery ate the actors ate the outfits ate kiara's fits ate she's literally how i'm gonna be dressing in summer everything ate why is my dog i'm the star of the show and yeah so that's basically it for today's review if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys like subscribe and comment down below which videos you guys want me to do next. Also, make sure you guys follow all of my social medias that will be on the screen. And they'll be linked in the description below. Bye, guys. Oh. Oh. Okay.